Hey yo, what's going on dudes and dudettes? Welcome back to all the mods 8. Holy crap guys, we, we're still using the shaders. I am really, really liking these. Uh, if you guys are wondering, these are just the potato shaders. Um, or the, the potato setting on the complementary shaders over here. Uh, so if we go complementary shaders and we say open shader, this is on potato. We lose the big long shadows and it just really adds something to the game um yeah i'm i'm really liking it but uh yes today we have some fun things planned um that's right we found two ancient debris so we are going to be getting into some brewing so we can brew up some things and i think i'm low on cobble i might not even have any does this work it does good so we can just take this guy Put in here, put that there. We have lots of lighting here, even though we have a mega torch literally under here. Um, that's pretty cool. And then I also added this guy, which is full of 64 KME drives. Yes, um, our system has been running in the background here. We have so much urinite, we almost have a thousand. We have a lot of iron, we have a lot of lapis, quartz. Uh, our redstone supply is a bit low. I've been using that quite a bit. But yeah, we're making, we're making lots of power, lots of progress. It's great. So what I want to go ahead and do is make some netherite seeds today. Um, and so we need to go ahead and smelt up one of these guys. I also upgraded all of the furnaces to the obsidian tier, super duper easy. Um, and they smelt items fairly quickly. So now that we have this, we need this. So that's going to require us to make this and for us to make this, which we have. I don't know how many diamonds we have, actually. Um, yes good we make that now we make mortar pedal what are we missing yeah the mortar there you is perfect now we take this and we smelt it and then we brew this into mundane potions good they're very mundane good all right interesting i didn't know that was a thing okay um we got quite a few blaze rods so let's make some of this put that in here we're gonna make oh, we're gonna make a little bit more of that you'll see in a second okay so now we just brew in and i believe you can actually brew this because we need the mundane potion which the first one is boom right into that so mundane potion will let these guys brew up all right and here we go mundane potions now we're gonna put this calcinated netherite powder into it that's very cool and then we get the netherite site and i believe we can take these and yeah if we combine them with blaze powder we get a charm of nether site so we're going to be utilizing that big time very good and then just here boom boom and i'm pretty sure you can enchant this. Oh, requires a lot. Okay, 50 out of 50. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, we're not able to enchant that just yet. Um, but yeah, so we can go into the nether and this acts like a, essentially this is similar as the magnet. And we just turn it on or turn it off. So over here, I think I built a tunnel goes down yep right here oh not this one ah aha here it is it's hiding very good so now we're gonna click this guy on actually we're a little ways away this is on and there we go we have some netherite straight up here we're gonna collect this guy good yeah and they're kind of scattered all over the place good okay so we have a total of four of those now um we need a total of 16. So I'm gonna go around and collect up a bunch of these guys and I'll be back with you guys if I find anything cool. Okay, so over here we got a whole bunch of them. So I'm gonna be checking these guys out and getting them and I'm not checking them out, I'm gonna be finding them. Okay, so just got back to the base. So that took me almost no time at all. And yeah, we still have so much durability left on that, which is fantastic. But yes, now we have the 16 
of these guys and I'll show you guys how fast this obsidian furnace is very cool a little expensive for how fast it is but I'm not one to complain so I just complained okay so we're gonna take these guys and then we're gonna add them um, like this one two three four booyah cool all right and now we need one two three four and then we're gonna need some farmland back perfect okay we're probably gonna need to make some more prosperity seeds good thing is we have a heck ton of prosperity shards so yeah we are we are rolling all right one two three four one two three and four and there we go netherite sweet and there we go. Netherite seeds are in and automated. Cool. So once we have a couple of them here, actually, we can just run over here. And, ooh, we actually should put this on the other side. All right, and here we go. So now these are on this left-hand side over here. And we can expand upward. Um, need netherite essence. We're going to do this. So there, there we go. Did I write over something important? Mm, we'll find out. But anyway... Yep, so we have netherite essence being automated. Cool, so I can go ahead and go AFK for a bit and we'll get some netherite. Nice. All right, dudes, so that is right. We now have netherite completely automated. Check this out. I went AFK for a bit and we have 137 netherite ingots, so we can do whatever we want with this. Um, yeah, I think we can actually turn... Yes. Wait, do we have the magma cream? I don't think we have that yet. We'll work on that later, turning these into the netherite furnaces. But as you can see up in the top left over here, we have this thing called Mahao. And we're going to be working on that today. Because uh, Mahao Tsuke, I think is how you say it, this is what we're going to be focusing on today. Um, so what we need to do is take a little bit of damage. And I've set my hotkey. Okay, so there should... Oh, there it was. So I think because of our um, shaders, we're not able to see that. So let's disable these real quick. Yeah, okay. So here it is. We have our Mahaujin thing. So this is really important. Wow, it looks really weird not being in the shader right now. Um, so yeah. I've got that set up over here. We're going to be utilizing that for a bit. I want to go ahead and make this dagger. I believe this lets us injure ourselves. Yes, and so then we can create one pretty easily. Okay, so yeah, that's super duper simple. So we have that taken care of. Okay, let's go ahead and create one of these. This is going to store a bunch of mana for us. Um, a tuner, I believe, and then we're going to make the diamond one because that stores a lot more uh, mahao in it. So now we have this, and I believe if we right-click this, yeah, up at the top left, we're utilizing it. And as you can see, it went up to 101, and then it does slowly regenerate over time. But we're going to see about trying to speed up that process a bit. Um, so I believe if we go like this, and we're going to take damage, we're going to go boink, nope. Um, take damage, boink, take damage, nope, gotta, gotta be here. Okay, so we can break these. Okay, and then we can break these underneath, and then we're gonna place chests under them. I don't know if these actually. We're gonna we're just gonna utilize the vanilla chests because I'm not too sure if the um, other ones are gonna work. So we're gonna put. Oh, wow, wow. Here, see. Okay, so there we go. So now these each have their own, and then let's see here. Okay, I believe we're looking for a durability exchange, which is going to be a powdered diamond and two powdered emeralds. So let's see about making that. So powdered emerald, we're going to need a mortar and pedestal. How difficult are these to make? Ooh, they're a little pricey. How many diamonds do we actually have right now? 110 or 111, actually. Okay, so that's not too bad. Again, I did go AFK for a while. So, ooh, that helped. Okay, so now we can make those. So we need one diamond. So that gives us two. We're gonna make a couple of these just so we have them. And because we need double, we'll double that. Okay, so I believe if we go one click, one, two. Yes, that works. 
All right, cool. Now, osmium, do we have a lot of osmium here? Mm, not really, okay. So we need to get some osmium seeds, but the thing I like, I like about osmium is the durability on these things is crazy. So what this essentially does is this converts, as you can look up at, our, at the top left, the Mahau is going up quite a significant amount faster. Um, and what this does is it takes the durability off of the items and converts it up into the Mahau. So the more durability it has, the more, uh, the longer we're gonna have it generating Mahau for us and then we can start to fill this guy back up. So as you can see, if we have a lot of these going, then it's going to be generating a lot of Mahau for us, which is then in turn gonna let us utilize the goal of this whole mod for me right now is the Morgan, which is what we're gonna be trying to make today. So yeah, this is utilizing all of that there. And then Osmium, you can make an Osmium Paxel. And this is typically what I like using for, where are you at? Yeah, it has 2048 durability. Let's see, is there something? I mean, a diamond one has a lot of durability too. Netherite's really good. I wonder. Okay, so it does take just a diamond Paxel. Yeah, that's fine. So if we throw this over here, this should be making it pretty quickly for us. Throw it zero, 51. Yeah, 104. So if we just sit here and I hold this down for a while, uh, eventually, you know, it will generate, but we need, we need more generation than this. So this is just basically one way to get Mahal pretty, pretty quickly, which is a, a really good beginning source for this, but we have some better. Oh yeah. And I also put ethereal glass as the door here. Uh, I had a really big scare with a witch getting in, uh, cause I actually left the door open when I came in here one time. So yeah, I almost died. I don't have any footage of that cause I was panicking for my life. Um, but yeah, I put some ethereal glass so we'll never have that issue again and uh, won't die. And then I also made an AFK spot up here within ethereal glass so I can just sit here for hours uh, and I won't be in any harm or danger. So that's pretty fun. Okay, so something we're gonna do is we need to get uh, some villager, uh, a villager spawner. And the best way to do that is using this crazy chicken method. So we're gonna go over here to the village um, and I'm just gonna click a villager with this swab to kind of get a, a uh, I guess, something from him. Okay, mob swabbed. Yep, craft with a bucket of XP. Yeah, so let's go back home. Um, this is vital. Okay, so uses, we need a bucket of experience. A bucket of experience. Okay, let's see if we can snatch up some experience over here. Um, we'll break this and we can throw this here. And that should give us, oh, I should probably turn off my magnet. Where is my magnet? Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, so this is getting, this is getting it. Cool. I'll be here for a little bit and we'll gather up a bucket of experience. All right, so we've got a bucket here so I can grab this. We can go back to the base and we can craft up this villager spawn egg. Uh, or not this, this just GM chicken feeding food. Uh, I'm gonna sleep real quick. All right, let's see if we can find a chicken. Oh, he's got a helmet and he's got a trident. Okay. No trident for us. Hey, we finally got some chickens. Cool. So we're just going to give this guy a chicken feed. And he gives us some feathers and a villager spawn egg. Very cool. So I do believe I have a couple of spawners. Like on okay. Actually, I brought the spawn egg. So we're going to shift right click. Click it with the spawn egg. And now this spawns villagers. At least it should. 
Yep. It does. Good. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so over here I've developed a little room for our villagers. Now this is all ethereal glass here. Uh, this looks a little weird because I made this a little too short and then had to expand it. But anyway, it'll get the job done. So we're gonna place this guy here, shift right click, and if we click it with, I thought it was a repeater. Wait, what? <coughs> oh, it's a comparator. really good means we can turn it off or on um do i have any levers in here nope cool cool all right and then we don't want anything spawning in there with them so we need to make it ignore light so we need a soul lantern uh so torch we can make some good soul lantern beautiful okay so let's head on over here so I'm gonna put some lights in here. So now it ignores light, and now I can turn it on and off. Perfect. All right, and then we're gonna want these guys spawning at a pretty crazy rate. Um, so we're gonna need some gas. Here. I don't know if I have a lot of those. Got four. Okay, that's a decent amount. Now I can spawn up to 14. Good. Okay. And then we don't have another star, uh, obviously. Uh, spawn count, fermented spider eye. Can make 14 of those, very good. Oh, we gotta wait. Uh -huh. Okay, so what else do we need? Let's see here. Uh, eventually when we get to the end, we will do chorus fruit. Let's get some wool. Uh, how about some string? We got some string to make some wool. Very good. Right. I'm gonna get rid of everything in here that we don't need for now. Okay. So we have fermented eye, white wool. It's gonna be quiet. Spawn delay. So let's get some sugar. We don't want the spawn delay to be very high. Okay. We don't want activation rage. Minimum spawn delay. Let's get some clocks. I don't want spawn range. Um, okay. So I think for now... Oh, activation range. That's what that was. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and put these guys on the spawner. We should have a couple of villagers still in here. All right. So this is going to be the max spawn delay. Okay, max that out. I'm going to do the minimum spawn delay. Quiet, and then we can have them spawn in a bunch. Spawn count, max energy, activation range. Spawn range is still set to four. If we turn this on, we should have quite a few spawn in. Very good. Okay. So the next thing we need to do is set up a kind of killing chamber thing for them. Um, let's see. Ma. Oh, nope. Ma. There you are. Okay, I think it's this one. Bound your drain life drains health from nearby mobs in a range of 10 for every health drain, health, hunger, or mana restored to the caster in that order according to the caster's needs. Okay, um, I don't know if this is it to iron and uh, that guy, but let's try it. So we'll grab this, we're gonna need some iron. I'm gonna grab some emeralds. Okay, we're gonna put a couple of these guys down. Uh, so take damage. Uh, and then let's see, uh, one, two, three. Uh, hmm, uh, where did we mess up? Uh, yeah, I figured. So it has to be in order. Uh, uh, oh, you gotta uh, right click it, okay. Good. 
Okay, so as you can see, we're not doing anything, and our mahao is actually increasing. So it's utilizing our mahao, and it's creating even more mahao, which is freaking awesome. So we literally just sit here, and our mahao goes up. We just AFK, and we're good to go. That is awesome. Okay, so I'm going to go AFK here for a bit. Uh, I'm probably going to bring in some torches, actually, um, so that nothing spawns in there. Uh, I might just do a mega torch, actually. We'll do one of those, and then we'll do some aesthetic lights as well. Um, got some lanterns. No, I don't. Well, we can hang those from the roof. But yeah, okay. So I'll go AFK here for a bit, and this will keep uh, generating my how for us, and then eventually we'll be able to have a good time or something. All right, so I've been going at this for a little bit here. As you can see, we've got 600, 700 Mahao now. Uh, this has been fantastic. Uh, I really like this. And we can go ahead and turn this off, and then we're going to turn all these guys off by just right-clicking them so they're not draining our Mahao at all. Uh, as you can see, it's slowly going back up. Um, but yeah, super, super awesome. I have two of these filled up already with 10K, so... Yeah, we've got uh, quite a bit. And then these guys, yeah, they're both filled. Um, but that's cool. So, also got a bit of Infirmium. So that's always nice to have. Um, so now what we need to do is, let's see, we need the lake thing. Uh, I think it's two diamonds and one emerald. That's strengthening projection. Floor. Yes, so this one, two diamonds and one emerald. Okay. So at ma. One emerald and two diamonds. Okay. So let's find a spot where we can put this lake. Um, I think here is not a bad spot. It should spawn in some things. So two diamonds, one emerald. And then it should, yep, this is working. Ooh. Becoming foggy. That's gonna stay there. How big is this lake gonna be? That's how it's big. Okay, so what we're gonna wanna go ahead and do is craft up an enchanted, uh, we're gonna get a diamond sword and we're gonna enchant it. So, yeah, I don't wanna use those. Let's get a stick. There's your stick. All we got to do is enchant this. Yep, it's enchanted. And then we should just throw this right into the lake. Yep. We got it. Did anyone see where the... Oh, there's the sword. Now we got Caliburn. Sweet. Okay, so the innate cap is 100, which is okay. What we need to do is find the dog, and tame it, and then slay it. Um, yeah, it's pretty sad. So, shield your eyes, children. Shield your eyes. Okay, we found a dog. All right. Farewell, doggo. Okay, <sighs> we did it. Let's get, he's got a friend. We're gonna take these guys back. How many do you need? Jeez. Come back here. Oh, that was quick. Yes, you dogs are my friends. I'm so sorry about your other friend who passed away for unknown reasons. He was a good lad. If I do this, hopefully, nope, they're, they're forever over there. Okay, so now we have the Morgan. Now you might be asking yourself, what do we do now? Well, we are going to start spawning in some villagers. So I'm going to turn two of these on to help generate some Mahal. Um, maybe even four of them. 
let's leave it at three. Now we start swinging. And as you can see, we go from, we're at 7.8, kill a couple villagers. All right, now we're at 10 attack damage. So I'm gonna do this for a while and we are gonna have some fun. So right now what I'm doing is I actually have the farm back on uh, because the Morgan requires your internal Mahao to be very high. So as you can see, we have uh, 22,718 and the Morgan is at only 19 attack damage. So if I start killing these guys, the uh, it goes back up. But as you can see, it, when it depletes, we no longer uh, get attack damage for this guy. It's just staying at 21.8. So I'm going to keep doing this for a while, and we'll charge up some more, and then I'll do some more damage. Zenderman over here have been looking at me funny. Let us go test the sword on them. Okay. He died. What about you? Hmm. It's at 37 attack damage, but they survived. Hmm. Good question. Those questions need all right, guys, so I figured I'd give you an update. We are now at uh, 50 attack damage, so we're halfway there. <clears throat> I've also discovered that I can just sit here and kind of let the Mahal build up, and then I can attack them. So I don't have to worry about using this thing and then getting the sword. So that's been a, a, a nice change of pace. I wonder if you could pair this with uh, Exumavoid's uh, AFK mob thing from, I think, he had something like that. But anyhow, I'm going to be here for a little bit longer. We're going to keep building up some... Uh, Mahao and slicing and dicing. All right, guys. So I set up this auto clicker here to kind of just go every five seconds, and we have done it. Um, yep. You, by the way, you get durability back for destroying villagers, so that's fun. Uh, but we need to charge it for a second. That's fine. Okay. So what that means is we now have a sword that does 100 damage. And I can only think of one mob that deserves to feel the wrath of 100 damage. Yes, that is right. We're going to go take on the first wither um, of this series. So I'm very, very excited. I'm actually going to be over here for a little bit charging up our pedestal things here. Um, so yeah, after that, we'll, we'll head back in. Or I, I guess we'll go fight the wither. All right, so we actually have two filled up here just to be safe. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off all of these guys. Um, we'll turn this guy off too. Okay, so we just have the one running. Uh, I didn't turn this guy off. We'll just let them all die, it's okay. All right. So that should have been all perfect. Okay. So we need, do we have any soul sand? We do, we have a bit of soul sand. Cool, I'm actually gonna grab all of it because we can go get some more fairly easily. But okay. Um, then we're gonna grab some wither skulls. And then one more thing, can we enchant this guy? Okay, so let's enchant it a couple of times. That keeps the attack damage good. Sharpness. What is that now? Uh, 104 hearts. That's pretty good. Uh, sharpness 2. I want looting on it. Pretty much. Well, looting and unbreaking would be cool. I don't know if you can even get unbreaking for this guy. I believe this is going to two-shot. Soulbound. Yeah, that. Okay, so unbreaking is on it. Um, how much? Okay. I'm going to enchant this guy for a little bit. I really want to get looting and unbreaking on it. That's really all I care about. So I will be back 
once I have those. Mm, okay, so it seems that looting is going to be a little bit more difficult to come by. That's totally okay. Um, we can go ahead and defeat this wither. Right now we have Unbreaking 4 on it actually, which is more than I could have anticipated. But yeah, we have all of our hearts. Let's make sure I have some food. We'll be eating gold apples from now on. So let's go ahead and give this guy an eat. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to fly a little bit away from our base. And we can have ourselves a wither fight. Now, more than likely, this thing is going to end up going into the sky. Uh, it's going to be a sky fight. So anyway, this is where we're going to be. Blah, blah, blah. This is where we're going to be battling him. So here we go. First wither of our hardcore world with a Morgan that does a hundred damage. So here we go. Morgie. Morgie Sporky. Okay. Here we go, lads. Okay. <laughs> we have ourselves another star. Holy cow. fast that it was crazy. So we now have four nether stars. That is so good. Um, let's see here. Can we make something here with these? Yes, we can make a creative flight. So let's go ahead and try to make this guy here real quick. Um, oh, and I didn't show you guys this. Holy cow. Uh, yeah, I have added all of these garden cloches and they are all filled with inferium essence so yeah we have 136,000 inferium essence in that drawer it's freaking awesome so we're gonna go here bing one two three four two three and four all right so we've made the flight augment. Um, so let's take our chest piece off, put that here. And then now we can add this. Yep, it says we have flight. So that should mean we can go here and take this bad boy off. Now does it drain experience? Nope. It literally is just creative flight. Oh my gosh. We've freaking done it. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh man. Okay. So this is good. This is very good. Very good. Oh. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Who needs a jetpack anymore? Oh my gosh. We now have the Morgan, everyone. 
Thank you all so much for watching. This has been a very fun episode. We got into uh, Mahao Tuske. I don't know how you say it. Um, I've messed up my map. I'll figure that out. Anyway, guys, I hope you all have a great day. I'll see you all next video. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.